I'm gonna be breaking down a few scenes uh, from my celebrated work, My Best Friend Joe. Wasting no time, here it is. I actually chose to keep this in. Uh, you know, normally this would get cut out in the edit, but you know, I really like to establish a sense of realism in the atmosphere. You know, these are moments of improv uh, that you end up having, you know. I couldn't let him see me, or else that would shatter the illusion. So what are we doing here? Where is Joe? We're creating tension. Where is he? When's he coming back? But that moment of tension is relieved when, yes, I find Joe. Like I always do. I always find Joe. It all began with an idea. Immortalize a person who means more to me than I could ever put into words. Uh, and so I decided I wasn't going to try to put it into words. I was going to try to put it into cinema. Some people think that I never even told him that I was filming. That's completely ridiculous. I... He was in on it the, the whole time, and I know that, deep down. Joe is what people are righteous about. He's, he's holy. He is, he is a deity of, you know, why else would I make a film about him unless I thought of him as, as my, my deity, the, the, the physical return of Christ. So the, we got Joe in this shot. That's Joe there. Uh, and if you closely, yeah, coming up in a second, you got, there's Joe. Yeah, as you can see. There's jo that's Joe's door there, but Joe is in front of his door, as you can see. So, as you can see personally there, that's Joe. That's Joe. It's Joe. It's Joe. He's just... Yeah, so this is me coming up to the door, and then... Yeah. And the footage runs out here. We didn't intend for this to be the ending, but sometimes the fates have their way, and there's technical difficulties. I think it was a happy accident because that final frame, you know, of Joe in the sunlight before he passes into darkness, it really sums up, you know, what happened to him.